Hey, what's going on, guys? Dopesweater930 here. Hope you all are doing well. Um, first and foremost, I just wanted to apologize for the way my voice may sound. I came down with a pretty nasty cold yesterday, um, and I'm feeling I'm feeling better today for the most part, but my throat is just really jacked up. So um, excuse any kind of coughing or just weird sounds that come out of my mouth. But uh, basically, the gameplay you guys are watching is a game called Killing Floor. I was trying to get some Call of Duty clips. Uh, like a decent gameplay, but I think due to me just feeling kind of crappy and out of it, I just wasn't fully able to play well. So I was like, yeah, I figured I'd give this game a shot. And it's a it's a really fun game. It's on sale in the Steam store right now for like four or five bucks, which is pretty rad. Um, and yeah, I, it's definitely a pretty fun game. But anyways, in this commentary, I'm going to be talking a bit about Xbox Live Stealth. Because this is something that a lot of people comment on my videos, message me, email me, and talk about all the time. Hey, do you have Xbox Live Stealth? Hey, can you get me on Xbox Live Stealth? Hey, do you use Xbox Live Stealth? And hey, can you show me how to set up Xbox Live Stealth? All the above, plus more. Um, so let's, let's go ahead and get into it and talk a little bit about this. No, I don't have Xbox Live Stealth, and I actually have never used Xbox Live Stealth. Um... I just checked today and basically it looks like the price for Xbox Live Stealth is like a dollar a day, um, <clears throat> what was it, fifty dollars for a week, and let me see if I can't find it, I think I have it right here actually, I was just looking at it, um, 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 um. yeah, and then like <clears throat> twenty-five bucks for three days or something like that, I'm not seeing Lifetime, I know that they have Lifetime because one of my buddies has Lifetime Stealth, but um, that's actually a lot cheaper than when it first came out. Um, I don't remember the exact cost, but I know Xbox Live Stealth came out years ago. I think it was like 2012 or something like that when um, it originally was launched, and it was way more expensive than that when I first saw it. I mean, it was anywhere between 50 to 100 bucks a day, from what I remember, and um, that in itself like instantly turned me off from Xbox Live Stealth because I felt like the dudes that were running it were just like basically screwing everyone because everyone was willing to pay it because that was back when like Call of Duty lobbies and stuff like that were just like the biggest thing and people were kind of like charging everybody for challenge lobbies and stuff like that and so they knew that they could get get away with it basically so they charged a lot of uh, money and um, I mean shoot by all means if they can make that much and people were willing to pay for it then why not but uh, I just never thought of it as being something I was interested in because even for me, like, back when people were charging, um, like, PayPal, like, they charge, like, five or ten bucks for challenge lobbies and stuff like that. I was never really about that. Um, I only, I only really did, um, lobbies and stuff like that a little bit here and there, and it was just for fun, really. Like, more so just God mode and, like, just a bunch of crazy stuff going on because I had a fun time with it. And, um, yeah, for me, Xbox Live Stealth just seemed like, I don't know, a waste of money. Um, a money to me and I know people I know a few people that used to run in like Xbox Live Stealth 2 just so that way they, they'd actually make their money back by again charging other people basically for challenge lobbies and stuff like that but I don't know the whole concept behind it I just never really cared for and um, most of the stuff I used my JTAG slash RGH for um, I could either have done like at one point with infections or um, was all stuff that I just really wanted to play locally um, or, I mean, for a while there, I never used it too much, but they had, like, X-Link, um, you know, which basically allowed you to play with other JTAG and RGH users on, like, a service that was separate from that of Xbox Live, and, uh, I was fine with that. That was totally cool with me. So, but yeah, I've never used Xbox Live Stealth. I'm not saying, like, if you use it, then, like, you suck, because that's fine. Like, if you want to pay the money, you know, that's totally fine. It just, for me, it was never something that I really... Um, you know, felt was necessary or something that I wanted to do. Um, it's, I mean, I think it's cool though. Again, I actually do think it's cool for those that do want to pay to go on Xbox Live because, um, my kind of thing that this is is that a lot of the games, um, especially like COD 4, for example, when infections became a thing, they got so just destroyed because everyone was like infecting, 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 infecting that every game was just like completely. You know, you couldn't play legit if you wanted to play legit. And so the fact that there is an option now basically to pay and go online and be able to mod lobbies and stuff like that, um, to me, I guess that's kind of cool in a way because this prevents everybody from doing it because not everyone obviously wants to pay and set it up and stuff. 
but for those people that do want to pay and do want to do that it's kind of an option that will allow them to kind of you know use the old way where you can you know you take your jtag slash rgh online and then um, you know whenever your key vault gets bad you can swap out your key vault and keep doing that and and playing and stuff like that so um, in that sense I think it's kind of cool because it helps limit the amount of people that are online just basically <clears throat> running lobbies and and you know messing around with games that people want to play legitimately um, so that in that aspect it is really cool and again now that they've lowered the prices I mean 10 bucks a day might sound I don't know if it's like to who's like what if you think that sounds like a lot but to me that's nothing like ten dollars a day to be able to run lobbies or just mod a game like you know whatever game it is that you want to play to me that's actually like really cheap um so you know that's that's different to me because again I remember Xbox Live Stealth being anywhere between like 50 to 100 bucks a day when I saw that I was like that is just absolutely outrageous and people were paying it though I remember like they were paying it out the ass and so I would imagine that just because now not as many people or maybe I don't know maybe the people uh, running it just decided that it's better to charge less and have more versus you know charge more and have less people I really don't know and I couldn't tell you but yeah I get people asking me about Xbox Live Stealth on like a daily or, or at least like a few times a week basis so I figured I would just make a video again, kind of talking about it and um, letting you guys know that I've never used it and I don't know how to set it up or anything like that because it just never really drew my interest or attention. But um, I'm sure that out of my subscribers, some of you guys must use it because I know you guys are pretty much all into JTAG and RGHs, so I'm sure one of you have at least tried it at one point or another. So um, those of you that have, let me know, um, you know, how you like it and what you think of it and also... Um, if any of you actually used it back when it first came out, please comment down below what it did cost because I could be wrong, but again, I'm positive that it was way more expensive than it is now. So if anyone knows, like that'd be cool just to kind of find out and and stuff like that. And any other information actually you have on Xbox Live Stealth, if you just want to post it down in the description, that way anyone checking out my channel because I don't really talk about it ever or too much, that way they can see some information on it. That would be also cool as well but um anyways guys i think i'll end the video there thank you so much for checking in and um, hopefully you enjoyed this commentary again i apologize for my voice i'm sure that my next two three videos will probably sound equally kind of eh, like robotic maybe and then hopefully i'll be back to my good self because i just don't want to be sick and <coughs> i don't <coughs> i'm dying here um i don't want to be sick especially with christmas coming up in just a few days it's like the worst time to be sick there's just so much stuff going on but uh yeah i hope you guys are all doing well and you know your holidays have, have been going well and uh yeah don't forget to like comment subscribe and share the video for more videos and i will see you guys later on dope sweater 930 and i am out peace guys hey guys don't forget to hit the like button on the bottom of this video and if you're not subscribed subscribe for new great videos every single week including monthly giveaways thank you so much for checking out this video and i'll see you guys next time